Here is a guy who, um, I mean, has supported Donald Trump again, who, you know, sort of opened the floodgates for politicians to um, swear and attack each other and uh, say that people have small penises and the whole thing. And uh, here is uh, Matt Walsh on um, on Twitter. You, you can't believe it. Just a review. Someone on Twitter made up a story about J.D. Vance having sex with a couch. And now that totally made up story is being used on stage by the Kamala campaign to mock Vance. This is honestly one of the dirtiest things I've ever seen in a presidential campaign do. These people are pure evil. Pure mom, evil. Mom, they're for, being unfair. Mom. Somebody made a meme on done and they they referenced it. It's like hilarious. It, we, we covered that clip, and it, the best part about it is that if you don't know the meme, you just assume that J.D. Vance is lazy and he doesn't get up off the couch. If you do know the meme, you just know that it's funny that he referenced it. Absolutely. It's just like completely. But you got to look at it from the, the base. Per, but you got to look for it from the perspective of a, of a guy like Matt Walsh. Um, he Matt Walsh is intimately interested in the question as to whether J.D. Vance actually copulated with a couch or did not copulate with a couch. The the amount of time that Matt Walsh has spent contemplating who has copulated with whom, mm. under what circumstances, what is their age difference? Is it really uh, that big of a deal? He said at times, like, wasn't, weren't we supposed to have this type of relationship? Uh, you know, all of these questions from Matt Walsh are so central to him that the idea that someone would imply jokingly that J.D. Vance copulated with a couch is to him pure evil. It's, it just, it's, it's such a reflection on his sort of worldview. Like, yeah, who you copulate with for him is the most important thing that one could articulate in the context of society. They, they're and honestly you know showing open disrespect for him as a as a genital cop. Right. You know, the, the guy that's always obsessed with people's genitals. It's very when he's when when you're asserting that genitals have been somewhere where they haven't been. How can he have a scientific determination on like where what genitals everybody has? Matt? Yeah, as chief transvestigator at the Daily yeah. Wire. Uh, it <laughs> uh, Trump implied that Ted Cruz dad killed JFK. Well, I mean, that's not, uh, but it didn't, but he didn't say that uh, uh, Cruz's dad copulated with JFK. Yeah, yeah, it was gay. That, that might have been kind of hot. <laughs> whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Had sex with a couch at the book depository. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's read, some, uh, let's read some IMs. I don't think we're going to get to any calls today, folks. Um, Ryan in California, I have yet to see any evidence that J.D. Vance is not a couch fornicator. I mean, uh, people say he's a couch uh, fornicator. I'm not saying it. People are. There must be some reason they're saying it. I don't know. Like VPs who don't uh, fornicate with couches. My brain hurts. Do we know the, <laughs> the age of the couch? <laughs> that is a reference, of course, to uh, Matt Walsh's uh, interest in uh, litigating uh, age of consent laws. How do you measure uh, couch uh, age of consent? Is it like in dog years or something like that? I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the couch uh, dynamics, but um, only Sam's. Hi, Mr. Cedar. Would you like to be the first model on my website? Thanks in advance. <laughs> well, I don't get that one. <laughs> only Sam's is the I am Renee. <laughs> Number 13, if y'all don't think Texas will burn down the union before allowing a Democrat to win state riot, a statewide race, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, oh, uh, number 13 also says path dependency has already taken place with the IRA. Some House Republicans are begging Johnson not to cut clean energy tax credits if they win next year because of all the jobs created in their districts by the new projects. Yes, yeah, so there you have it. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.